Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and this is Beginner Guide Part 20. We are really going to be getting some traction here today. Now, I've already come and collected a little bit of gold, so we've got uh, not all our habitats that are full, but a lot of them have filled up already. Let's start collecting that gold. Oh, yeah. Looking good. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day, sending tons of positive energies out there. And here, our dark habitat is finally done being being built. So we just got a bunch of experience for that. Here we've got a couple other habitats that we leveled up as well. Oh yeah. And here we just got our sea crystal. Beautiful. Gonna keep collecting that gold and let's see what else we've got going on. Here we should have cleared that rock. Our dragon training center should be done being built and we have two more rocks that are done to clear. Awesome. Here if we go to our hatchery we can check this out. We've got at least one egg that's ready to be placed. Ooh, the Bastion Dragon. Awesome. Here we're going to go ahead and take this dragon and uh, let's place it on the biggest habitat there. I think that's the level three habitat. Awesome. We're going to feed that dragon later. Ooh, but first we've got some exciting new things. We just got level 23 Patang, looking great. Now we can get uh, the uh, Demona Tower, the Super Tile, uh, the Super Tile, tile. <laughs> here we can also level up our electric habitat from level two to three, all the way to six, seven to the max level. And our wind habitat, we can level that up to level two and get three more habitats. Super cool. Definitely loving this. Here we've got a little food offer, but I'm going to have to pass on that now. Sorry. And let's see what else is ready. Here we've got a dragon in the hatchery. And there we go. We, get, we ended up getting a cloud dragon. So that's kind of what I had expected. Here, if I want to take a chance and roll the dice, remember we were trying to complete that collection. Here, if we go to our dragon book, click on the collections, I'm trying to get the fifth uh, you know, right now we've got four out of five of the rookie collection. I'm trying to get the fifth, the blizzard dragon. Awesome. So that's what we're going to be working on here. Here, I'm still going to attempt to get that blizzard dragon. We know it's a fire and sea element that we saw in the dragon book. They're just going to make sure triple checking. Yeah, sea and fire. So we're going to rebreed those two dragons and hopefully we get something new. Okay. Here, five hour breeding time, and I don't see the little new button there. So I'm guessing we just made another cloud dragon. And eh, what you gonna do? That's what happens sometimes. But I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep going for it, and hopefully, one of these days, we're gonna get that new dragon. That's looking pretty good here. Uh, another thing I like to do when I log in is check out my battles. I haven't played any battles yet today, and we've got the uh, clue quest for the special event that's going on right now. I love these little mini games. There's like a new mini game every week, and here you can always have various battles. They can give you extra coins or tokens for the events that are going on. So here, Tumbleweed has an X, so we're gonna use our next strongest move, Headbutt. Not too shabby so far. We're off to a good start here. One down, two to go. I think we've got some good odds here. Let's keep this going. Headbutt one more time. Beautiful. Yeah, that's looking great. So here we got that. Ooh, let's use flooding. Oh, and we just flooded their basement. Victory is ours. But saying that's looking great. So there we took care of that little mini game quest there. Next up, we've got eight out of nine for the prehistoric cup. And I want to complete this prehistoric cup here. Let's go. So here, we should have some pretty good odds. These uh, little battles here, they get more and more difficult as you go, but the prehistoric cup isn't too difficult, especially considering here, we've got at least one level 25 dragon. We just lost our electric dragon, but no worries, we got this. Here, we're gonna use our strongest move, Light Star. Awesome, oh yeah, there we go, two down, one to go, and I have a real good feeling. Let's go, Rudolph Patang. Another victory, that's what I'm talking about. And our Rudolph Dragon also got the C minus. It's a new rank and it's gonna be even more stronger. Here, we just won the Prehistoric Cup, love it. And we got the Petrodactyl Dragon, ooh, super cool. Awesome, so that's gonna be a new dragon that's in our storage, love it. 
And now we're moving on to the Frozen Wind Cup. Here you need to have a, a level 10 common dragon, a level 10 rare dragon, and a level 10 anything dragon. So we've got all the requirements for that. Let's go. Uh, I like that lineup of dragons there. Hopefully we'll be able to pull off another victory, but like I said, it gets more and more difficult as we progress. I think we still have it though. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so here tumbleweed isn't gonna work. We're gonna switch to headbutt Perfect two down one to go and I think we're gonna be able to easily pull off a victory here. Yas queen looking good Yeah, beautiful Here ooh, we've got a red exclamation mark. That means I don't have the next dragon for the next battle we're gonna need a metal and grass dragon to be able to play the next cup uh, the next battle of the Frozen Wind Cup here. So I gotta make sure I get myself a metal and grass dragon and it has to be at least level 10. Okay. So if we check this out here real quick, I probably should have taken a little bit of time and I would have uh, gone to the breeding cave and done that. But no biggie, maybe we'll get lucky and we just have to level up a dragon that already has those two elements. Ooh, here we just got the big hat dragon, and we're gonna go ahead and place this electric dragon. And uh, I'm gonna place it, it's an electric and ice dragon, so I'm gonna place it on an ice habitat. That looks pretty good to me. Awesome. And that's not the dragon that we're looking for, um, the element with, it was metal and grass. Um, brain fart, lol, okay, one second, just gotta check this again. Quests, and yeah, metal grass. Okay, we got this. So here I'm going to go to my dragons, and we can order this. Um, yeah, we're going to order by power descending, and here we've got all of our dragons in order. I'm just going to scroll real quick. Do we have a metal and grass dragon? Okay, we don't. No biggie, though. So here, if you want to be even more precise, grass, metal. So there, that narrows it down to only dragons that have at least one of those elements. Here, we can actually scroll, keep on moving on, and here we can see that in our dragon book, we've got some dragons. Here, the petrodactyl dragon that we just got, it's got a grass element, but no metal. And then here, the kitty dragon has a metal element, but no grass. So not even in our storage do we have the dragon we're looking for. So I definitely should have taken my time for the breeding mountain over here, but I was really excited to try to get that blizzard dragon. No biggie, we still got this. So here, this is the breeding sanctuary ruins. Technically, once you unlock this at level 25, you're gonna be able to level up the breeding sanctuary ruins, and you're also gonna be able to breed more dragons from there. So that is something that we're eventually gonna wanna get to, but it's not available just yet. We still have two levels left to go. So here, we wanna level up a couple more habitats. Um, for example, here, I need to get another dark dragon egg, or at least my first dark dragon egg. So we're gonna go to the hatchery. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna not go into the storage right now, but we're gonna go directly to the dragons that we can buy the eggs with gold. We're gonna scroll and we're gonna get that dark dragon. And just there, that already gave us a little bit of experience, perfect. That's got a two hour hatch time, so we're gonna patiently wait for that. Beautiful, and next up, I wanna level up some habitats. Like here, we can finally level up our wind habitat. So I'm gonna collect the gold and we're gonna do just that. Here, we're gonna be uh, taking our habitat from a 60,000 max gold to 180. 1000 max gold. That's 60 uh, 60k plus 120k. That's 180,000 gold. I want it. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty big habitat though. Okay. And it takes 18 hours to level up. Well, glad we started that early. Yeah. Awesome. Here, I've been collecting gold a couple times since we uh, you know, last saw each other in the previous video and I think we have just enough gold to expand again. I don't think there's an expansion event going on today, which would have been really convenient, but I'm ready. I want it. Here, I'm going to buy just one section of this lava island over here so that we can, you know, keep getting a couple more habitats and leveling them up. So, for example, ooh, here. 
Okay, we've got the electric habitats. I'm just going to collect all the gold from there. Beautiful. And we're going to see which one has the lowest gold income at the moment. So I guess this one's in competition for that too. Oops, wrong button there. Okay, so here, that habitat, it's about at 50. Here, 52. Here, 46. Those are pretty much evened out. And this one, well, I clicked on it a little bit late, but I'm pretty sure that's going to have the lowest income. Here, we're just going to collect that real quick and confirm it. Yeah, looking good. Here, when it comes to our food, all of our food is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all this food here. And right now, I'm doing the two-hour food. So what that means is I'm using the multi-spear coin, uh, the multi-spear corn every two hours. It's giving us a decent amount of experience. It's giving us a decent amount of food and it's not too expensive gold-wise. So here, we're just gonna regrow all. Beautiful. That's looking great there, awesome. And what do we have over here? Oh, okay, there's gonna be a couple orbs in our shop. I don't think I'm going to be investing gold in this for a little bit of a time. Um, you know, these this is a great way to get orbs so that you can uh, that you can um, summon. Is it? Whoops, wrong button. Here, when you go to the tree of life, yeah, you can summon dragons when you get those orbs. So it would be interesting, but I'm not quite yet there. I don't have that much gold, and I've got other things that I've been saving it up for. Here. When we go to our recall area, I guess there's a couple dragons we could recall so that we can level up some more dragons. Let's see what to do. Here we've got that sea dragon. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to recall that level one sea dragon for now. Beautiful. We've got a little bit of gold there. And back to the electric habitats. 210, 230, 220, and 172. So this is officially the habitat that we're going to upgrade. Here. The reason I upgrade the habitat that has the lowest gold income is because um, it's going to take a little bit of time to upgrade and I don't want the habitat to lose its gold income when I come back to check for it. So here we're going to level up this habitat and once it gets to a higher level, then we're going to switch around our dragons so that it now has the biggest gold income. So we're going to do a little bit of switch switcheroonie there once it's ready. Here, I'm actually going to take this level 5 dragon, I'm going to put it on that habitat there, and I'm going to take the level 1 dragon and move it to the habitat where we just took a dragon from. So we're doing a little bit of switcheroonies here, a little bit of Tetris, but it's looking pretty good. Here, I'm going to take this new Bastion dragon. It's got a 24 gold per minute income, which is pretty good compared to our other dragons on this island, and it's only level 1. Um, here, I'm actually going to leave that dragon there. I didn't realize how good the, the gold income for that dragon was. So I'm going to take the waterfall dragon and I'm going to move it right there. I want a dragon with the, you know, low gold income on this little island for now. Here, we're going to collect that gold. Beautiful. And next thing, we're going to upgrade it. Here, that's going to take it from 7.5 thousand to 30 thousand in total. In the long term, this is going to pay itself off. Beautiful. Okay, so here, this is looking good. We're getting some progress. Um, leveling up those habitats is going to give us some extra experience as well. And in the long term, we're going to be regaining all that gold. Beautiful. So let's see what we're going to do next here. Things are looking pretty good. I'm feeling good about everything. Let's go ahead and try an arena battle. I wonder how we're doing. Ouch. Okay, so we lost five trophies, not the end of the world, and you can watch an ad to repeal that, which means you don't lose the trophies, but I don't mind. Here, ooh, all of those dragons are level 25. Now, yesterday, we talked about the dragon roost. Here, we've finally got our dragon roost to level 3, and if we want to upgrade that to level 4, we're going to have to get four more dragons. We've only got two out of six dragons at level 25, so now... We've got a little bit more food and I'm ready to go. We're gonna go to our dragon book. Here, we're gonna get rid of those two elements that we selected earlier. We're gonna go to um, own dragons, perfect. And next up, we're gonna take our strongest dragon that isn't level 20 and 
We're going to feed that uh, that isn't level 25. We're going to feed that dragon from level 20 to 25. Beautiful. So now, this is now a dragon that's at the highest level we can get it. Ooh, and it's even stronger than the jelly dragon. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Awesome. Here, we're going to take our next dragon that's the strongest level 20 dragon. And we're also going to feed that dragon all the way to level 25. And looking good. Beautiful. There we go. So that's looking real nice right now. Next up, we've got the Flame Dragon with four stars. So here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to level up our dragon all the way to level 25. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of emptying out my food storage. So, you know, I mentioned yesterday, you want to save up a good food reserve, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, you know, uh, I'm feeling good about this, and I want to see how much it's going to cost to upgrade that Dragon Roost to level 4. Let's go. We're going to take our monstrous dragon and level it up from level 20 to 25. Hopefully we don't run out of food. Ooh, that was close. Okay, perfect. So here, I'm good. I'm almost out of food, but we're good to go. Here, we can go and check out the dragon roost. Ooh, okay. So we've got six out of six dragons, but now we're going to have to get five million gold. Okay, that's going to take a lot of saving up, but I think we can do this. Here on our nature habitat level one, we don't have any dragons there. So let's go see if we don't have a level one dragon hanging around somewhere. And we don't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to collect all the gold from there. And we're going to see. Oh, okay. What well, I just noticed, that's a level three habitat. That's a level three habitat. So I'm just going to take the lower level habitat, the nature habitat. We're going to take the level five and we're going to move it right there. Beautiful. Perfect. So here we still have about a million point nine of gold and I'm feeling it here. We're going to take this nature habitat level one and we're going to upgrade it again. We're going to take it to uh, 40,000 total gold. So it's going from 10K plus 30. That makes 40,000 gold in total. And ooh, ooh, we're not we don't have enough space. OK, oops. No biggie, though. Here things are looking pretty good. Hmm. How are we going to do this? So one of the issues that I have in this game and probably in uh, many aspects of my life is I'm out of space. I'm almost tempted. I think I'm going to do it here. I mean, it's not that expensive. It's a million point one two. I'm going to expand again. This is a long term investment here. And if ever you're expanding and you're a little short on gold, I do recommend waiting for the expansion events. Here, if we look at our electric habitat. Here we can get this leveled up to level two. We'll have a 50,000 total gold income, but it costs a lot more, uh, 750,000. So I'm gonna stick with the nature habitat. It's a lot less expensive. Yeah, the gold storage is a little bit less high, but I'm feeling it. Beautiful. So that's looking great there. Things are moving along quite well. We've got a decent amount of habitats. I'm running low on gold here. Let's see, what else can we do? Here, that dragon is almost ready to be hatched. Technically, I could watch an ad, and if I wasn't making a video, I would watch an ad right now, but I'm not gonna torture you with that. Here, let's see. Um, let's go to our shop. Let's check out our buildings. Oh, okay. So here, we've got the ultra breeding tree. And that is 100 gems to get. This is a tree that you can get to breed more dragons. Now, um, in my other game, I've been playing about two months, and there's already been one event where you got the ultra breeding tree half price. So that meant I only invested 50 gems for it. I'm going to wait for that event to happen again, and I will get the ultra breeding tree, but I'm going to wait for the price to go down to 50 gems. Yeah. Okay. Here things are looking really good. Uh, I'm kind of tempted. Let's go ahead. Let's get a flame crystal. Yeah. Here, we're going to put that flame crystal right there. Awesome. And it's going to take six hours to be ready, but it's going to give us a huge gold boost. So definitely a good investment there. Here, our sea dragon is done being recalled. And let's see. 
I want to go to the empower section here. Here when it comes to emp empowering dragons, the flame dragon, that's at two out of 800 orbs. So we have to recall a lot of flame dragons in order to get all of those orbs. Technically, one level one flame dragon gives you 40 orbs. So we would need to recall 20 level one flame dragons, which isn't that bad, but it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm actually kind of tempted to do it though. Um, here, let's see. The f the sea dragon, that would be another dragon that I'd like to get another star. Um, Terra dragon, maybe as well. Interesting. So here, um, this, what's 560 divided by 40? Um, 10, 14. So there we'd have to recall 14 of the Terra Dragons to get that next Star of Empowerment there. Meh, not too shabby. I mean, that's going to take a little bit of time. Of course, we could work on that here. But yeah, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time. Here, I'm kind of tempted, but we're going to do that in another video. For now, that's looking good. And let's try to find another way to get some more experience. Here, if we go to our habitats, uh, do we have enough gold to get any more habitats? No? Okay, bummer. Here, buildings, there's no farms that are available. That's really what I was looking for. So that's looking good. Right now, there's this special event going on, the inspector's office. And I had a lot of fun with that last time we played it. Here, I'm going to go ahead and spin, and hopefully we're going to get one move so we can get that puzzle piece that's right next to our dragon. Okay, I'll take it. Here, we just got two moves. Ooh, that's actually really tempting. Okay, so here, if I look at the big picture, I want to get that piece, the very rare piece. I want to get that legendary piece. I want to get that very rare piece. I want to get that leg uh, legacy piece over here. Oh, and I accidentally clicked on it. Okay, well, perfect. It looks like it was destiny. Yeah, baby. So there, we just got the first piece of the masquerade dragon. Ooh, I love it. Awesome. Here, we're going to spin again. Looking good. And, of course, we only got one move. Now, originally, I was thinking that I was going to use those two moves. I was going to go get this chest over here that can possibly give you gems. I would work my way to the bottom and then work my way back up top. But destiny wanted me to get that puzzle piece. So, here we go. We're going to keep on spinning and just get a couple things here. We might get some gold. We might get some food. And I'm going to try my luck and see what we can get. Here, we're going to go down. Right and down again. We're looking for that puzzle piece there. So here we're going to get a couple items. Yeah, a couple food, couple gold. Love it. Here we're going to spin again. Big money. Come on, bring it on home. Yeah, three pieces. That's what I'm talking about. So here we're going to go down, left, and down. So now we're just two pieces away from that next puzzle piece. Beautiful. Yeah, two, two, two. Let's get a two. Come on, big money. Oh, of course it's only one. Okay, figures. Here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get that next chest. Maybe we'll get some gold. Ooh, 10 Joker orbs. Okay, I like that. I'll take it. Here, we're going to spin again. And yeah, perfect. Okay, so there we got one move. And that's going to be perfect for getting the next piece of the Masquerade Dragon. So now we've got two out of six of those dragon pieces. Perfect. Here, that chest looks really cool. It has some interesting items. Here we've got the orbs of the Inspector Dragon, uh, 30, 20, or 10. You don't know what you're going to get. It's going to be random. And that's a really interesting chest. But eh, I've got a limited amount of tokens. Do I really want to go that route? I do. But I know that if I start moving around left and right just to get those chests there, I might not get the dragons that I've already started working on. So I'm going to try to not spread myself too thin and just stay focused on the goal at hand here. Beautiful. So here we got two moves. We're going to go up and right. And here, maybe some gold. What's it going to be? Ooh, poker, dragon, orbs, and 10 of them. I'll take it. Here, we're going to spin again, and I hope I get two so we can get that gem chest. Of course, we get three. Okay, figures. Here, one, two, and three. Perfect. So here, we're going to go ahead, open up that chest. Looking good. Ooh, big rock star dragon. Ten orbs there. Love it. Beautiful. So ten orbs of a dragon is kind of like 10% of 
being able to um, summon that dragon. Awesome. Here we've got one, two moves. We're going to the very rare dragon piece next. Awesome. And here we got 10 of the toxic dragon orbs. Perfect. Keep on going. Let's get that puzzle piece, baby. Oh, yeah. And I feel like whenever you get close to a puzzle piece, you always get three moves. Anyways, we're going for the detective dragon. Let's do this. Here, we're going to spin again. Big money. Ooh, three moves. Perfect. Awesome. So here we're going to go ahead, move on down, and we're going to get close to those puzzle pieces again. Beautiful. Golden food. I love it. Here, we've got that puzzle piece next to get, and that's where I'm aiming for. Let's spin this one more time. Big money. Come on. Here we go. Not too shabby. A little bit more gold, a little bit more food. I'll take it. And now I'm really hoping that we can get a three on our spin here. Come on, big money. Meh, two is okay. I'll take it. Here, we got that. We got another chest, and we're just one move away from our next puzzle piece. Ooh, good gold there. I like it. Awesome. And here, well, we got the next puzzle move. Let's collect that right there. So now we've got two out of four for the detective dragon. I love it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So let's see how many moves we get here. Of course, we only get one. So we land on an empty space. That's okay. So here, next move, I'm going to go to the catapult with the up arrow. Yeah, there we go. So here, we're getting closer to the end. We're going to go up one. Beautiful. So here, we're going to spin again. Rock on, looking good. And here, we're going to go up two. Of course, there's no chest there, but that's okay. Here, hopefully, for this last spin, we can get a three. Come on, big money. Oh, so close. Okay, no biggie. It's all good here. We're going to go up and right, and here we got a chest. I'll take it. Beautiful. So here, we got almost 20,000 in gold. We got 2,500 food. It's looking fantastic. And all we need is a one here. So it doesn't matter what it lands on. Of course, it lands on a three. We're going up to the next section of the map. Beautiful. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but we had the first section. It was only 25 tokens for a spin. Here, the second section, it was 50 tokens for a spin. And now we're at the third section. It's 75 tokens for a spin. So eh, I'll do one more roll just for fun. Big money. Okay. Not too shabby. Here we've got that, and we're going to keep this going. Oh, yeah, gold food. I'll take it for sure. And here, what we're going to do is we're aiming for those next puzzle pieces of the dragons we've been working on. Eh, I'm feeling good today. Let's try this. Here, we're going to do just a few more spins, too. I'll take it. Of course, we miss the big chest, but we still have a chest over here. At least it's not an empty space. I'll take it. Here, that's going great. We're going to keep spinning. Only one move. Okay, so here we're going to go right there. Beautiful. Big money. A little bit of gold, a little bit of food. I'll take it. And we're going to spin again. Yeah, there we go. Two moves. Perfect. Getting us closer to our next puzzle piece. I'll take it. Let's go. So here we got some gold. We got some food. And we're going to spin again. I'm hoping we get at least a two here. Yes, we got it. Beautiful. Yas, queen. So here we're going to go ahead and get that. And we just got the third out of four detective dragon puzzle pieces. We are actually really close to getting that next piece. I think it's right there. Come on, let's go. After all, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Let's see. Here we're going to go there. We're going to go there. That looks like a chest I would love to get. It's got those inspector dragon orbs, but... <sighs> I'm going to stay focused, a uh, sigh of, you know, I really want to get that dragon because I want to collect them all, but you got to do what you got to do to stay focused. So here, we just got a pretty cool chest. Rock on. Ooh, five old general dragon orbs. Okay, perfect. Here, let's spin again. Yeah, looking good. I'll take it. So here we got two moves. And you know what? I'm feeling just a little bit dangerous. You know those purple shiny chests there? I think you could get orbs with that. Either orbs, uh, sorry, did I say orbs? Either gems or food. Either way, that's a jackpot. I'm going to try it. 
Now it's too, it's not too far off. It's a little bit more expensive per spin than it was in the first two sections. So maybe I should have gotten this chest in the first two sections, but it's okay. And here we just got a mountain of food. So I'll take it. Of course I would have liked to get those gems, but hey, you know, you never know where the wind blows. So here we're gonna hope to get a big spin. Yes, three, perfect. And we're going back down to, uh, towards the puzzle piece. Beautiful. So there we got that. That's looking fantastic. We're going to spin again. We're aiming for that next VR puzzle piece right there. Come on, let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Here we got that. We got that. Tap to open. Beautiful. So there we got a little bit of gold. We're going to spin again. Come on, let's bring this home. Oh, only one move. Okay. Well, it's all right. Here we go. We're going to get that gold, that food. Spin again. Come on, big money. Ooh, figures. Okay, so one move there. Here, we got it. Beautiful. And we got some gold. We got some food. I'm going to spin again. Let's go, baby. Big money. Yes, three moves. Awesome. Perfect. So here, we're going towards the puzzle piece. We're so close. A little bit of gold, a little bit of food. I'll take it. And it literally doesn't matter if we get a one here. We only have one move to get until we get the new Detective Dragon, Patang. Couldn't be more excited. We just got the new Detective Dragon. Super cool. So here, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to spin again. And now we want to go to the catapult with the up arrow. So here, of course, we land on an empty space. I'm kind of hoping we get a one or a two right now just so we can get that chest. I'll take it. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. Big money. A little bit of gold, a little bit of food. I'll take it. And here, I'm hoping I get a two with the spin. Eh, a two or a three. Of course, I get a one. I jinxed it for sure. Here we go. And we're going to do, this is really going to be our last spin right now. And only one move. That's all we need. We're going up. We're going to the next section of the map. And here, it went from 25, 50, 75. Now for this fourth section of the map, it's 100 tokens for a spin. When we look at what dragons we're working on, you know, we've got two out of six of the Masquerade Dragon pieces, so I might want to focus on that. Here, I've got zero out of four of the Cal Calaverina Dragon, and the next piece is nine steps away. So what do I want to do? Do I want to try to get gems or food? Do I want to try to get those dragons? I know I don't want to spread myself too thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this right now. I'm going to do my best to get some more of those tokens. And then when we have a couple more tokens, we're going to come back to this later on and keep on moving. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So this is looking great over here. Click the wrong button there. Here, this dragon is almost done. Oh, we're so close. Okay, so here. We've got about three minutes. Let's go have some fun. Let's go to the battles. I'm going to go to the arena. And do we have any chances here? I'm not too sure. Well, I'm pretty sure if I use my Aztec Dragon first, it's not going to be as efficient. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. Here, we're going to put that dragon there. Okay, perfect. So now our Rudolph Dragon has actually improved in rank since we leveled it up to level 25. So these are now our top three dragons. Hopefully, we've got a fighting chance. Let's do this. That looks like a pretty strong dragon. And here, I'm going to use my strongest move, even though some moves have a boost. Meh, not too shabby. Let's try the second strongest move, Meteor Shower. Will it give us a big enough boost? Meh. Okay, so our strongest move was the best there. Here, we're going to switch to the Jelly Dragon, and we're going to use Flooding. Yeah, destroy the dragon. Perfect. So here, we're going to use our strongest move, and the cool thing is we've got a 30% boost. Yeah, not too shabby. Okay, so here we survived. We're going to use that move again. We should destroy this dragon. Perfect. Two down, one to go. Oh, and same for me. Here, we're going to use our strongest move, Tumbleweed. Hopefully, we're not going to lose here, but we still managed to destroy two of the dragons, so those are going to be added to our warrior tokens. And we got defeated. It's not a defeat, though, because check it out. The Jelly Dragon got a new rank, so that means it's even stronger than it was. And, yeah, we lost some trophies. I don't mind. Here, we just got two more of the warrior tokens, and that means we're going to be able to collect this warrior chest. Oh, yeah, baby, here we go. 
And here we're getting a bunch of those orbs along with 10 more of the Terra tokens so we can upgrade that habitat. Love it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So that's going real well over here. Super cool. And we're a little bit low on gold still. Um, what can we do? Oh yeah, I said I was going to talk about the training center, but I'm not ready for it. We're going to save that until we get a little bit more higher level. Here, technically, right now, let's say we wanted to, you know, improve this dragon. Yeah, we could, but I feel like when you level up the dragons, you get new moves, so I'm going to wait until we get to level 30 until I actually start playing around with it. Beautiful. So this is looking real good. Um... Ba, 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 ba. Okay, what to do? Here, we got a couple rewards. Okay, let's see what is in our rewards. Here, we've got some blue uh, coins that we can trade for the Dragon TV bronze chest. Big money. Some very rare orbs. Okay. Here, we got a couple more orbs. Beautiful. And you always want to claim these before the time runs out. The time runs out. Right now, there's two days, 20 hours left. And I definitely want to collect these before I forget about it. Beautiful. And the only reason I was saving these up was for making videos. If ever you're playing the game, I recommend you collect them as you go. Beautiful. Here, we also got uh, some clues that we collected. So we're going to be able to collect the inspector level up chest. Ooh, I like it. Claim. Come on, big money reclaiming our time. Ooh, we got one inspector, inspector orb and 7,000 food. That's awesome. Beautiful. We're done there for now, and our egg is ready to be hatched. Here, we got the rogue dragon. I love it. Awesome. Here, we're going to place this dragon on our dark habitat. Perfect. Looking good. Awesome. And eh, we got a little bit of food. I don't want to feed it too much, but I'm going to get it at least to level 5. So here, you can see the stats are going up, and it's going to give us a little bit more gold. Meh. Maybe we'll go to level 10. That's not too much. Let's go. And looking good. Beautiful. So there we're at level 10. We've got some good stats and some really good gold income. Yas queen. Beautiful. So here if we go here, we've got a dragon that's going to be ready in an hour and a half. So I'm going to go and choose a more rare dragon in our storage and I can't stop thinking about the detective dragon Ooh, but it's got a hatch time of 23 hours okay that's gonna take a little bit of time anyways I'm feeling great about this and before I leave I'm gonna collect all the gold that we've saved up here beautiful so we're doing real good and I'm gonna be saving up that gold so we can get 5 million gold so we can level up our dragon roost once again Hey, I really hope you've enjoyed this video so far. You can always uh, hit that thumbs up button for the like. And if you have any questions, comment in the video below. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and strategies. Yeah, that's looking great there. Here we've got this. Beautiful. Get that going on there. We're getting all the gold that's available. Beautiful, Buttes McGee here. Oh, that's still being leveled up. Okay, perfect. And I'm just curious. I don't think we have enough gold to level up that habitat. Oh, we're so close. Okay. Well, you know, I'll save up my gold. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. I'm not too worried about it. Things are looking fabulous here. And I can't wait to come back. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be able to get to level 24. Hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Peace.